Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share my recipe for pimi and some people call it conky in the Caribbean. I have here 2 cups of grated coconut, 1.5 cup of great pumpkin, now you want it great on the finest side of the grater or you could use your processor for this. I have 2 cups of cornmeal, 1.5 cup of brown sugar, 8 ounces of butter, 1 cup of raisins and I have some bay leaf here what I boil in the water so I could get the flavor from the bay leaf. 1 tablespoon of cinnamon, 1 tablespoon of nutmeg and 1 tablespoon of almond essence. You could use mixed essence for this as well. I have here some banana leaves or fig leaf. You will need this or you could use foil as well to wrap your pimi. So let's start. Into my bowl I'm gonna add in all of the ingredients. So I'm going in with my coconut, my sugar, cornmeal, Pumpkin, and you could use squash for this as well. My raisins, nutmeg. Now, when you're using nutmeg, you could buy the whole one instead of buying the grated one already to use. You could use this one as in the pack. Next, you're going to go in with your hands and you want your hands clean so you can knead all of these ingredients. So I'm going to be kneading this with my hands. If the water is not enough for you, you could add a little bit more. I'm going to add in my almond essence and the bay leaf water. You don't want it too runny. So keep kneading. Okay, so the half cup of water was just enough for me. As you can see, no more of the dry cornmeal. So let's move on. So next you want to take your banana leaves and put it on the heat so it will be very pliable to use because if you go to use this just like that it's just gonna break apart on you and shake So this one is finished. I'm gonna move on to the other one. So guys, once you're finished with this, or while you're doing this, you can put your water to boil a pot of water to boil or even when you are mixing your mixture and meal you can put your water to boil okay so let's start putting our mixture you want to taste your mixture before you put it in here I'm gonna fold it like this now you have to get shred for these things. I do not have any thread, so I'm going to be wrapping it with foil. Now the banana leaves on them is more better to use when you're doing tiny. But if you don't have banana leaves, you can go with the foil. Right. 
You want to press down tightly. And that's one. I'll do another one for you guys. So this is how you put it in the foil. The foil could take a little more mixture, not the, the banana leaf. And wrap it like this. Press down. Go ahead now. And flip the other side. And press down. And you're going to take the ends and fold it. And you got one peeling. So guys, into my boiling water, I'm going to add in my creamy. You want this to boil for about a half an hour to 45 minutes. You want it to cook all the way through. Now it's time to take out the creamy. I'm going to rest it in my rice strainer. And you will need a tray to collect the water. I want to leave this to cool down before I open them. Guys, let's open one of the pimi and let me show you guys how it looks inside. Still a little hot, but that's okay. so good see how it's fully cooked and that is what you want gonna taste it mmm It's very good. I love all the spices in it. And it has enough sugar to my liking. Yes, here's my recipe for Pimi. Hope you guys enjoyed today's dish. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. And I'll see you guys another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!